In today's video, I want to share five tips on how I use ChatGPT to do some SEO on my blog post and some website related tips for ranking your content. Let's have a look. The first tip I want to show you is how I do Google snippet optimization. So you can see here, if I search on Google, what are autonomous AI agents? You can see here, we come up first on the Google search here with kind of like a snippet from my website allaboutai.com. So how I optimize for this is I use ChatGPT. I use the prompt, you are an SEO Google search uh, expert with specialization in search intent, semantic search and ranking on Google. Your task is to answer the following in an LL NLP friendly format to optimize to win a Google snippet, max 320 characters. And then I just paste in my blog post here, right? And I just uh, end up with this kind of nice snippet here that we can just put in somewhere in our blog post. Uh, I've done this a few times and I got some good results with it. So I really think this is a good tip. At least give it a shot. Uh, it's pretty easy to set up if you have your blog post. Just follow my prompt. I will be leaving these prompts on my website in the link below. So that should be good. Before we take a look at the second tip, I want to share this great ebook with you from today's sponsor, HubSpot. Repurposing content across platform is a challenge every content creator faces. How do you ensure both quality and consistency? Well, there's good news. HubSpot, our fantastic sponsor for this video, has an ebook that has been my recent go to guide for this AI Trends for Marketers 2023. This guide is a deep dive into how AI can revolutionize the way they adapt and repurpose content. Whether you're looking to transform a blog post into a series of engaging tweet or long form content into short form this ebook has a wealth of insights i've dropped a link in the description below for you to get your free copy and start discovering strategies that can save you countless hours and elevate your content game two sections that i keep revisiting is the ai for repurposing content that offer tangible steps to maximize your reach and ensuring accuracy with ai generated content which provide insights on producing content that is both innovative and accurate a huge thanks to hubspot for sponsoring this video and for delivering resources that empower and educate check out the ebook down below all right let's get back to the video the second tip i have is how to optimize your meta description and your url so you can see here from my article how to write the best titles using ChatGPT. you can see i have optimized kind of my meta description down here and we have optimized the url that you can see here it's kind of hard to see but if you look here so this is kind of what I use ChatGPT for. And you can see this ranked quite high. I think it's like third on Google. So I think it's working quite good. Let me show you the prompt I used for this. It's quite sim similar to the previous one. So we have kind of the same prompt here. Your task is to write the perfect SEO meta description. Max 160 characters from the following blog post. Again, we just paste our blog post in here, right? And that's about all I do. Just click submit. And you can see down here we get this... Kind of short. Discover how to craft compelling titles with ChatGPT. Dive deep into a step-by-step -step guide combining creativity and AI for standout content. Maximize reach and resonance. In the same thread here, uh, I also like to do now write the perfect SEO URL for the same blog post. And here I get a suggestion from uh, ChatGPT to how to use ChatGPT for title creation guide. Uh, I kind of like to do this because I don't want to figure out how I should do my URLs. I think it's just easier to just paste it in here and ask for it. You can also brainstorm different ideas. That is the same for the meta description. If you just, if you want to pick one of many, right? You can just, let's say, write five and you can write five URLs and you get to pick one of them. My third SEO tip is how I use ChatGPT to create FAQs for my post. You can see basically exactly the same prompt here. Your task is to your task is to write three perfect SEO FAQs for the following blog post. Again, we do the same, paste in our blog post, and you can see down here we get three FAQs. You can ask for as many as you want, and usually this perform quite well for me. I have some some of these uh, pop up in like people uh, often ask questions on Google, and I got some great ranking results basically based on these FAQs. So how does ChatGPT assist in title generation? So what I basically I do, I just create an FAQ on my post, copy the question, paste in the answer, and that's simple as that. My fourth tip is to use ChatGPT to explore more topics around the post we are creating. So you can see your task is to provide a list of semantically relevant topics that are missing from this blog post. Again, we paste in our post here, and you can see down here we get the res result. 
Uh, considering the goal of providing a uh, thorough guide and ensuring it covers a wide range of aspects related to the topic, there are some potential areas that could be expanded upon and uh, added to make the article even more robust. And then we get this list of things we can consider adding to our post. Uh, I've used this a few times and if your post is a bit thin, you kind of feel there's something missing, this is a very good tip to add some more yeah, beef or content to your post. So we get 10 good ideas here. You can see this includes the FAQ section, but we already completed that, so you can scratch that. Uh, but again, yeah, you can get some good tips here for almost any article you are writing. The final tip I have is looking a bit at the new EEAT score on Google. So we can look at this article here. What is EEAT? It stands for Experience, Expertise, Authoritiveness and Trustworthiness. So this is kind of more, uh, it's not a rank factor, but it's kind of how trustworthy your site is. And kind of in the age of AI, I think this, this is going to be more important going forward, right? That you have a trusted website. So this can be a lot of things, but basically what I did is I, I found kind of some of the guidelines here and I pasted it into this Word document, exported this as a PDF, and then I went over to the code interpreter and uploaded the PDF file here. Use PDF Plumber that I have installed. Uh, it's installed, so you don't have to do that. To return the first 30,000 characters, preview purposes, so you understand the PDF file. When you have read the file, acknowledge this with done, okay? So now kind of ChatGPT is up to date on the newest guidelines, right? Now give an EEAT rating based on the guidelines you just read for the following about page. And so what I did is I just went over to my website and I went to the about page. As you can see here, I kind of copy the text from the about page here. Uh, it's not a great about page, but kind of this is what Google looks at when it kind of wants to figure out the trustworthiness or the EEAT of your website. Uh, mine has uh, a lot of work to do, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that is the example today. And I just pasted in all the text here. I didn't include links and stuff now, uh, probably should have done that, uh, but that's fine. And then we get this, yeah, kind of rating or analysis back here. So you can see on expertise, uh, we have some information high rating experience we have medium high authoritiveness of course you should take this with uh yeah it's not 100 percent but it could give you an indication so what i follow up with how can this site improve eat this is a bit better but here you can get some good tips on how you can kind of add things to your about page to increase your uh, eat score so you can have detailed author bias Training updates, demonstrate practical applications on experience. We have a timeline, testo testimonials, portfolios, third party endorsements, collaborations. Yeah, a whole lot of tips you can kind of take from this if this is something you need. Of course, higher EAT score will kind of improve your ranking on search engines, uh, at least on Google. So I thought it was uh, something. It can be useful, but again, this has to be taken with a grain of salt because, yeah, it's not 100%, but it could give you some good guidelines. If you want to give this prompts a shot, uh, I have left a link in the description below to this website, so you can find them all here, plus a whole lot of other prompts if you want to try those out. Don't forget to check out the link to HubSpot's ebook on AI for marketers. You don't want to miss that, it's free, so that is in the description and in the pinned comment. Anyway, thank you for tuning in, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.